<clears throat> okay, ladies and gentlemen, I want to talk to you guys about the mark of the beast. So I want to read this, and uh, we're just going to discuss it. Okay, the mark of the beast. The RFID chip was created and launched as a result of the bombing on 9/11. Interesting coincidence, don't you think? Why do they want to do this to us? Well, to make money, lots of money. Secondly, they are doing this because God tells us in the book of Revelation that in the end time this would happen. Okay. And in those days shall man seek death and shall not find it, and shall desire to die, and death shall flee from them. Revelation 9.6 What is presented on this page is not fantasy or our idea of something that could happen in the near future. Every element here will tell you about advances in technology that either are in place or in or in the end stages of development and about to be released. Every element here will show you not only the plan, but the articles, tools that the New World Order, NWO, has in place to track you right now at this very moment to monitor you and control you. We also tell you why they are doing this and how it w and how <coughs> it all will end. The Bible in the Book of Revelation calls this the mark of the beast. What? The Apostle John could only share at in aware and wonder in the revelation that Jesus showed him of the end times, not knowing fully what he saw. We get to see become real. These are the end times we're told in the book of Revelation. Okay. The first thing you need to understand about the mark of the beast is that it is a worldwide system that collects and gathers information and ties it in with personal records of all kinds. This will climate in a chip implanted in your body that will personally collect you to the system today, connect you to the system today. You see that information is already being collected when you use your debit card the Laurel card at the supermarket, your car has computer chips that enable it to function. Everything is controlled by controlled by a chip that feeds the information to ver to various databases around the world. Even the internet itself is part of the system. Yeah. It's hard to now imagine life per phone and soon we won't be able to remember what life was like without the RFID chip. We have become a worldwide connected society whose every move is being tracked and collected for now. It's all very in the new world order has to repay by making co cool devices to use us to the to wanting to be tracked iPhones, smartphones, RFID chips, but the day is coming where you will be forced to have a chip put inside your body. When that day comes, you will know who the Antichrist is because he will be the one in power over the whole world accepting that chip will mean you said you side with the antichrist and against God accepting the chip will doom your soul to hell forever whatever you do do not ever let anyone put a chip inside your body it will be better to side side with God and die at the antichrist's hand than to accept the chip and spend eternity in hell. And this is the truth, ladies and gentlemen, okay? People need to realize that this is what's going on right now, okay? 
people are actually willingly receiving a chip in their body. Radio frequency. Identification is an automatic data capture technology that uses, uses tiny tracking chips affected to process these tiny chips can be used to track image at a distance right through someone's purse, backpack, or wallet. Many of the world's largest mineral companies would like to replace the barcode with these spy chips, meaning that very, very every imprint on the planet and the people wearing and carrying those imprints could be remotely tracked. There is currently no regulation protecting customers from the from this technology source. Hmm. From this technology source. For years you have been told to readers of Bible prophecy and conspiracy theories that the mark of the beast was coming soon and that people who receive an implantable microchip this has been swearing around for about the past 30 years or so. Well, the year, the years tra tracked by with no progress on making a chip that could do that and eventually people began to fail remote that under bug and forgot about it when all of a sudden we have this. Yeah, Vice President Joe Ben asked human be microchipped. This guy actually asked them the question. Okay, guys, people need to realize that this is not a joke, okay? I, I'm, I'm going to say it. Listen to this. Okay, I'm going to just listen to this, guys. Right here. Well, I'm going to repeat it because you guys aren't going to be able to hear it. So. Can a microchip tag be planted in a person's body? Crackers every move. No, actually, discussion on that. That we'll rule on that. Mark my words before your your ten year is over. Brain, can brain scans be used to determine if a person is inclined with criminal activity? You will rule on that. And that you see. Can a microscopic tag be implanted in a person's body to track his every move? And the answer is yes. Okay. Okay. What does okay what it does sound like is the vice president of the United States telling the chief justice of the Supreme Court that one day you will rule on implantable chips in human beings wow take a moment let it sink in and that's how it goes with most conspiracy theorists they have a very strong basics in reality and yes, there is a government plan to put a chip in your body and you need to decide if this is a good thing or a bad thing. Just how strong is the push to bring this technology to the people? This strong. And There's video after video, ladies and gentlemen. They are literally conditioning people, okay? They are getting people prepared to accept the mark of the beast. They're getting people prepared. Let, look at this. <clears throat> Tommy, that, that's, I guess that's the guy's name, the mark of the beast has arrived, hit every aspect of our government, and it goes so much deeper than you can imagine. Tommy, the Thomason, former Washington governor, and his, I said, bear a chip implant in humans, and so would you. If you had over 50 shares of stock in Verichip Corporation interest notes, when the Thomas is asked where the chip plays, he says, you put it in your right arm. Isn't that funny? And just coincidentally, that's one of the two places the book of Revelation says it is to go. Hmm. <clears throat> yeah. Look at this, ladies and gentlemen. I mean is scanned to show the six-digit code of his implantable verichip in this file. Photo from July 2003 in Mexico City. Now the same technology is being used by Mexican automatically, you know, hundreds of other sources.
Yeah. Chipping kids. Oh, man. It's crazy. Chipping kids to prevent kidnapping. Chipping the elderly to guard against chipping. And it goes on and on. Foretold. What is it? The mark of the beast as foretold by God? See. Let's see. Yeah. Like there's thing after thing after thing, ladies and gentlemen. This, this is their plan, okay, guys? That's so why people need to realize that this is not a joke. This, this is what's happening, and uh, people are being conditioned for this world tag. Look at that mark of the beast. There's an app for that. A system that can take a picture of the user's face without flash any notice of any... Okay, wait. Of, of any addition that a picture is being taken to prevent the current user from knowing he is being photographed. The system can record the user's voice whether or not phone call even being made. <coughs> and it goes on and on and on and on and on and on and on. <coughs> so ladies and gentlemen, this, this is what's happening, okay? All this stuff is going to happen after the rapture of the church. This is an act of love that God is showing us wake up look at what's going on like people are going around taking microchips and they're not even afraid they're willingly taking it like the family from Florida they said the first Florida family has got microchipped they said after 9-11 I became concerned and by them taking a microchip that I feel more secure I feel more connected to the system and this is what's happening okay people are being conditioned that it's a normal thing and even uh, on one of the episodes on CSI, listen to this. Because <clears throat> they found a body, okay? They found a dead body. So they said, and then the doctor, they found a chip in one of, the, they found a chip in the shoulder. So how did the chip get in the shoulder of this person? She said, unless the person that implanted the chip into this person, they would have had to do it while this person was unconscious. So they went to see the guy. Like, Why'd you put a chip in your wife? Why'd you do it? She said, ah, oh, she was cheating on me. It's like, anyways, this is the way of the future. Within 15 years from now, everybody's going to have a chip in them. You see that? The Illuminati is using the media, okay? They tell people things before they do it. And plus, we know what the Bible says, okay? This is coming. Total surveillance. Total control. This is what's going on. So whoever <coughs> is listening to this, because before all this happens, the rapture is going to take place. So if you happen to get left behind, do not take the mark of the beast, because this is definitely coming. Like I said before, and I say it again, before the mark of the beast comes in, everybody's going to be going into biometrics. The FBI is bringing it in. 2014, coming up very soon, nationwide, all over the United States. Everybody, it's already mandated. It's already mandatory for everybody to take a biometric scan to prove that you are an American and if you don't take it it's either you're a terrorist or you're someone that's claiming to be an American and you're not really an American this technology is going nationwide it's going worldwide the rest of the world is already headed towards biometrics this is coming down the pipe where it's already there ladies and gentlemen they're eliminating cash step by step because they're gonna have the mark of the beast they have to start getting rid of cash and this is what they're doing okay Everybody has a national. Everybody needs a national ID card. Prove to me that you are who you say you are. How do I know who you are? Prove it. That's why they're going into identification. A national ID card identification system. All your files, total control over everything, on a single card that is linked in with your biometrics. This is dead wrong. They want to mark us as cattle. They want to track us. They want to scan us. They want to surveil us. They want to link us. You name it. This is all that's about. It's about total control. It has nothing to do with identity theft. This has to do with government control. This is the one world government, ladies and gentlemen, that has been prophesied over 2,000 years ago, and it's finally coming. They're, they're getting everything together because they don't care anymore. It's all out. They're so close to pulling it off. They really don't care anymore. So this is all i got to say, ladies and gentlemen. I'm signing off, and uh, may God bless you all. And this is all i got to say. God bless.